Hello, welcome to Deborah Kears Art Journey, my weekly vlog. Thank you for subscribing. Today I want to talk a little bit about underpaintings and what they are. What's in an underpainting? Let me first say that I think there are as many underpaintings as there are artists and different styles of creating underpaintings. Um, I do not do a closed grisaille, which is where the artist will actually lay down all of their color or all of their values in a monochromatic painting and then use color layers to um, finish things off. I also do not do an open grisaille, which is where you lay down all the darks of your painting and then add color and refine the drawing as you go. What I do is something a little bit different. I transfer my drawing onto my panel and these classes that I've been teaching that are finish the painting classes, these are the ugly underpaintings that I start with. And so I hopefully give each student the opportunity to have great pride in taking this ugly underpainting to something that looks beautiful and realistic that they would be proud to hang on their wall. And what I do in these underpaintings is besides the transfer drawing, I lay down the colors that I see hiding underneath the local colors. So in reality, I didn't see a green cupcake, but there was green in that chocolate, that brown chocolate color. There was some green that I saw underneath that. If you look at the clouds up in the sky, they're not just white. You can see pinks and blues and other things underneath, hiding underneath the white of the cloud. That's what I try to depict. And I make it a screaming bright color so that as you add layers, it will show through. Now, if you're working, if you're lucky to work from life and you actually get to see these in life, then and when I was at the Montreal Insectarium, I did see these, um, these butterflies in life and I tried to make some color notes, you know, saying there was a, the shadow was, was cool, that kind of thing. But if you only have a photo to work from, or if you just prefer to work with photo editing software, you can put a filter on which is called posterizing. And when you posterize your image, the computer will tell you what it sees laying underneath the local color. The difficulty I see with that is depending on the levels you choose, you get some really weird things that have no correlation to what you see in real life when you look at an object sometimes. So um, be careful if you choose to use that option. I, I don't like it personally. I prefer to just look at something and see what colors I see in real life. And that way when you, I lay over my subsequent layers of paint, you actually have that realism, that interest, because you have those colors shining through. This painting that I'm working on of popcorn at a state fair, I had noticed that there was blue over in this left hand corner and green over in this right hand corner, yellow up here and orange in the middle. So I jotted all that down in my phone um, in notes. And then when I uh, brought the photo reference home, those are the colors that I put as my in my underpainting as my guides. So hope that answers your question. That's how I use underpaintings and that's what's in my underpaintings. What's in yours? See you next week.